In this series, we're going to talk about the T position and attacking volleys. So in my career, I did a lot of work on it. Probably had one of the highest T positions out of the players in my generation. So I did a lot of work with my coach, Sean Moxham, about getting up on the T and trying to hit my volleys in front of the T. So my theory on it is a little bit, the, the closer I am to the front wall with my volleys, the more accurate I'm going to be. So if I can get my length, and it sort of ties in with deep shots and length, but I need my good length shots to be able to get to the tee. But the closer I am to the front wall, closer I am to a target, the more accurate I'm going to be on my volley drops. So every time I take a step back from the tee, the distance between me and my target gets further. So that means the risk goes up more. So I always used to say from this position, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna hit that ball for a winning shot. Um, I come back one step and I'm a meter or so further back from here, trying to hit a volley in from this distance, then I'm back to probably like seven, six, seven out of 10. And if I come back to where a lot of tee positions are, then from here, I'm twice as far away. So then again, my accuracy and my consistency really goes down. So having this high tee position and stepping forward into the tee makes it much easier for me to get better control over my volleys, especially my volley drop or my volley cross court drop in the front. So you see it a lot in the pro players, guys like Nick Matthews, Ramy, really fighting for this tee position, really trying to get up in front of the tee. And I really coach it a lot in my players as well.